guys welcome back to the channel i really hope that you like the intro it took me a year to do and as you can see this is a fabulous award show ceremony i bought this and i made a cardboard podium and some cardboard cutouts of myself for awards so to round up this year i tested 83 items uh, 40 of them were reels 43 of them were rods spread it from spinning and casting and I learned a lot I made friends around the world so Norway Thailand Australia United States France all over the place Spain Croatia I can name a lot of countries that people reach out to me and we all learn with each other also uh, closer to home I found people that I can go fish and now I consider them my friends which is everything a fisherman should ever want something to go with fishing um, but I have made four uh, categories this year because I don't feel the confidence to emit opinions uh, yet on lines and lures but we'll see so this year will be only rods and reels uh, I separated them on casting and spinning so starting with uh, casting rods because I know that a lot of you guys like BFS yes I have notes this time so starting these are not in order until I reach the four nominees for the best casting rod of the year and remember that the criteria is I like them they look somewhat okay they function and they justify the price so something cheap can win something expensive can win if it's justified so starting with the catch you random rod uh, it was featured in a video with the solo king akura beautiful siphon uh, stick just that uh, me fine illusion slash they messed up with the casting guides uh, the, the, that was mm, not okay the marvelous delicacy um, I think its price point on the beginning uh, led to a little bit of a hover hype the marvelous orca nice soft stream uh, rod with a cool concept uh, Ryobri uh, Ranmi so an improvement on the delicacy both on stiffness and portability the Mavlos Resolute, a rod that gets forgotten, but it's quite good. The Big Big World Las Estrellas, um, cool rod for salt water, a bit stiff and heavy for me, but either the less it's a cool rod, I think you can get it for under $20. So if you are a salt guy, uh, it's a thing to have in consideration. The Leidun Glass Rod, the No Name uh, Glass uh, Cheap Rod. So, um, a door for a world of fun for pennies. And the ending magical, it started the spring as a banger. Then the price increased and it started to lose its appeal. The I show you or Obsession Phantom, uh, I think still is the cheapest uh, option that you have for a long BFS rod. The Pure Glur Fiamma, a medium light rod that I bought and I would not say I regret because of the quality of the rod, but I regret because next year I will not have anything heavy on my arsenal. Everything will be light or ultra light. It's not for me that type of fishing. I will keep one or two rods for heavier stuff, but uh, it's not, not for me. The Pure Lure telescopic rod that I have in here and I have another one coming also casting. Uh, the MiFine Aircast prototype, uh, it's promising, it's a lot more promising than the MiFine Illusion Slash, uh, a lot more versatility. The Mavlos Ultima, a great blank, but it has some PC problems on the finishing, especially the cork bottoms that they crack. And now the nominees. And if you follow the channel, you will have a general idea for the ones that will be featured as the last four so starting with ending star trails an exceptional medium casting rod with a premium feel that for me 
made me feel bad for ending because I got it for 30 euros. It has an exquisite finishing, nice handle, premium guides and such a nice feel to it. Pure Lure New Sedan. An awesome bass rod from Pure Lure. Anything that needs oomph and it's over 5 grams, I'm not letting go of this one. Pretty pretty cool rod. Kingdom Stream King. A late contender, but it made me rethink how carbon fiber works with its castability, but enough backbone to manage any fish. Also, the wood handle is classy. And the Pure Lure Creek Dance. Every time I use this rod, I ask myself why the hell do not I use it more times. Awesome rod, pretty and sweet price point. I remember you guys that this is around $50. So, the winner of best casting rod for 2024 it's the Pure Lure Creek Dance. Creek Dance gets the award because this is a rod I will never sell. Same versatility as the Stream King, more backbone, great finish, a lot of actions and sizes on the family. So, cool video with the Pure Lure Creek Dance. So, next it's Casting rules. Uh, not a lot of things in here. So we have the Onkno, I think it's Linu, WK1000. Uh, best compliment I can make about it is that it works and it costs around $15. Uh, Sembo, uh, 117 Air, a mess of quality control, but it can cast. Uh, the Ending Magic LBFS, the lack of drag clicker, high price, and it just hinders this uh, reel, so it, it's a good reel, but it, it gets messed up on price. I still have it here, you cannot see it because the podium, it's blocking it. The Caesar Castex, a solid reel for light and medium fishing, uh, with an awesome price point and a solid feel. Cast King Valide Teagle, some kings that made it fall uh, under the other offers, like the Solo King Acura and the uh, Kingdom Micro Monster. So these are the ones that I tested and by now you should have an idea what I have for the nominees. So the nominees are the Kingdom Micro Monster. It's the best put together Dark Wolf Ultra variant. The Daiwa Tatula ATTW surprised me on value because it's a Daiwa. Under $100 for the real and the Gomexus pool. The Ice Star Aurora Air, the new budget king, the most sub 1 gram distance that you can get per dollar and the Pure Lure Silver Feather Air. Um, constantly casting sub 1 gram with no mods. And the winner is the Pure Lure Silver Feather. It's my favorite reel, I've used it in almost every rod test that I did. Uh, you can't go wrong with this reel, even though it costs $80. If you get it with all the promotions, it's a no-brainer. If you have that money to spend and you want to cast tiny crap, this is the one for you. So, it's a great, great, great reel. And on the next category, I promise you that I will not read this by order, so you don't know who is winning. So, next is spinning reels, yeah, from casting to spinning. So, the unknown CK800, it's crap. The Josby GK4000, heavy and a lot of sloppiness. The Billings Macro, works and feels solid, but there's nothing else to say about it, it's also very heavy. The Anatono PH. S1000, an affordable strong reel, the Linu Pteropos 1000, overpriced with some kinks, the Shimano Sienna, an old design, the Auton Purple Wind, it works and it's $5 so you cannot say anything, the Teban Polar Knight 800S, don't know how they make it so light but it works and it doesn't feel like a toy, the Casking Centrum, all design, solid, great for kids. 
the Signite Trend 3. Not durable, but works great for 2-3 seasons. Also very very cheap. The Mifine Legacy. Two spools, lightweight and affordable, all good things. The Ending M1500. That's the one that I tested. Solid reel, lacks kissy as some people have reached me with some problems. The Meredith ZE1000S. Nothing bad to say about this reel. I still have it there. Pretty cool. Got me my PB. The fish that you see in here was caught with that with that reel. The Mifine Darwin Carbon. Better than the Revros. The Diver Revros. It's a very solid reel. The Diver Revros. A lot better than what Shimano has to offer at the same price point. And the Casting Castro doesn't feel as special as it should compared with similar priced reels. So now the nominees are Suronoia Artemis. It's not here because I'm using it. The I Star Verdant, very very tiny. The Kingdom Tagman C2000S. Right here. And the Delcu NF800. It's also not here because I'm still using. So, the Delcu NF800, it's a good surprise on the end of the summer. Light, cheap, and it works great for $15. Um, the Verdant, it's a great little reel with awesome aesthetics and good line management. Also very, very light. The Tsurune Artemis, it's the, one of the best reels that I tested this year. And the Tagman, it's a nice precision tool for the ones that like ultralight fishing like I do. And the winner on this category, it's the Kingdom Tagman C2000S. It's the reel that I recommend everyone. It's the reel that I like to use the most. Uh, the Artemis, it's a very, very close second. And the Delcu is also a very, very cool offering. The Delcu and the Verdant have one slight problem. You cannot get it in bigger sizes. This is the biggest that you can get on the iStar. And the Delcu can get it on the 1000, but it's basically the same body. <coughs> Continuing on for the spinning rods. Not that I test many of them, and half of them are for me fine. So, you have the unknown, I think it might need Stelsior, a cheap glass rod. Great fun for little money, especially with uh, travels. The C9 uh, Falcon, uh, too stiff for my liking, but it's a solid rod, no pun intended. <laughs> the C9 Kraken, a missile launcher of a rod with a pleasant aesthetic, uh, still too heavy for me. The Ending M1. I really like this rod, it's a great little rod for uh, light action. If you go with a, a ultralight like I did, it feels like a mini bass rod. Uh, the Mifine Ineffable Slowish Rod, great for cranks. The Mifine Unstoppable First Rod, that throw me on the wormhole. Um, with Mifine and actually with AliExpress, uh, this channel will not would not be at the level that it is, and with the testing, if it wasn't for this rod, the Mifine Illusion Slash proved me to me that a super ultralight is just a tool for never skunking if there's anything swimming. Uh, Mifine Jig Smart, uh, my new saltwater. Uh, water rod when I need some extra oomph. Hopefully on the winter you'll see me fishing uh, with a jig smart on salt water for cuttlefish and squid. And now for the nominees. <laughs> this will be fun. Uh, the Mavlos Plume. This is one that should be the delicacy. The me fine ghost blade, truly an improvement on the illusion slash idea. The Mifine Nano Jig, great rod for sensitivity and ergonomics, makes this a pretty awesome rod. The 
Mifine Outrange, the 4x4 on ultralight and light shape. And the winner is the Mifine Nano G. It's like they listed everything that I needed on a roll and made it. It's affordable, it has good quality control, good components, a great blank, and is around $50 with that nice short handle like I like. It will be probably the mool for my testing next year. Uh, so everything that gets nominated this year, since it's the best, I will keep it. The rest can be or not be sold. If I see that I will not have used to it, or if I see someone that wants it locally, I will sell it, all as usually losing money, and put some more people on ultralight. I remember that I'm from Portugal and BFS and ultralight are not that well spread. So it's me selling stuff, it's actually improving the ultralight and BFS scene around here. So this is the award, I will send a copy and certificate for everyone win, uh, winning today to Aliexpress messages to the factories. And now we have two awards, the best of budget and biggest surprise. So let's, and I also have a third one that you probably already saw. For biggest budget or best of budget, like I put on the award, you have the Pure Lure Telescopic Rod. I remember you that right now you can get it for $20 on a choice day. This one, and also the spinning. The iStar Aurora Air. I remember that also for 30 something dollars you can get this reel and it will let you get a cast under one gram. The one that is not here, the DelQ NF800, which can be get for I think $13 on the choice day. And the iStar Verdant, right now it's $20 and it's a great, great reel. But the winner, it's the DelQ NF800. It's a great, great reel. 13 $12, something like that. It will work, it's smooth, it's light. It's aesthetically, it will go with anything because it's silver. It's just an awesome, awesome thing. And it proved me that I should invest more in cheaper budget stuff because one, the videos do better. Also, I have more fun because I get to test more things with my limited funds. But now that we got the budget price out of the way, it will be the surprise of the year. So the surprise of the year doesn't, I would say, uh, signify the quality of the product, but how it surprised me or improved me as a fisherman. So it's a ship glass rod. It put me on crankbaits to catch massive chub uh, on the creek this winter. The out on purple wind also showed me that you can have fun with a $5 spinning reel. The Kingdom Micro Monster, because it's just a, such a quality product. The tolerance, everything. And at some point you could get it for 30 something dollars. The box, everything, it's... I have no complaints about Kingdom and how do they, they deliver stuff, but this reel, it, it's really pretty cool and they, they over deliver with the price point that they asked at some point, 30 something dollars. This is very, very precise, very, very well put together. Uh, better KC than the Solo King Acura for sure. And the Mi Fine Unstoppable. As I told on the uh, spinning rod uh, award this rod when I got it and I filmed the video in the beginning my channel would be just me buy some lures go fishing uh, no testing just me fishing normal average um, I would say fishing YouTube channel just a way for me to record my fishing sessions and share with you guys what I've learned through the way but when I ordered this rod from the Aliexpress 
the side because I wanted something lighter. This just blew my mind. Quality, price, uh, balance, components, the doors that open on the way of I could fish with ultralight and super ultralight. It amazed me and opened the door for everything that you see here and everything that's not here, but it I got it and I tested. And it's it has been an eye open. And it wins the world just because of that reason. So the Mifi Unstoppable gets the um, biggest surprise of the year. Because it opened my eyes to a new world of possibilities and a new market where I could get more for my money instead of paying $50 for a stiff, a sluggish, unsensitive rod uh, and with not proper balance. And now the last award, plain crap, I have some nominees in here, I have to check my notes. So it's the unknown telescopic rod, the unknown CK800 reel, the blue reel that I tested firstly with the glass rod, the Signite Red Fox casting reel and the beautiful Siphon. I know that a lot of people on Facebook groups like the beautiful. I also have a rod that I like from beautiful that will appear on the channel soon. But the winner of the it's this the crap award is the unknown telescopic rod. It's awful. Ugh. It's like fishing with a broomstick that's noodly. I'm not a guy that likes the fanciest of stuff, but if it was crap. And it's all the words that I had to give today. This one I will not send because I don't even know who makes the, that crap of rod. And also you can see that I have it a little bit more organized. I painted the back trying to make things aesthetically pleasing. Uh, so hopefully next year things will be better. I will catch more species. I will make more friends. I will take more trips and I will have better editing and footage. I think I told you guys that I recently got a new drone. I'm also buying polarized lens for my cameras. And hopefully by next year I would reach 5,000 subscribers, hopefully. I think I'm on the right direction. Everything that you guys want to give from feedback, I will accept. But I want to thank you guys because this year has been awesome. Mostly because of you, the feedback that you give me, the friends that I make along the way on Facebook. Uh, I know that people uh, give a lot of crap on Facebook, but there are still good communities in there, like the BFS community, ultralight community, even some Portuguese communities. So with that said, hopefully the next 12 months will be even better with more fish, bigger fish, more species and different locations. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Probably the 11.11 sale video. Bye.